Hey everybody, welcome back to Barbara Dave's Barbershop uh, Home to Home and uh, Merry Christmas. Experiencing technical difficulties, please stand by. This isn't gonna work. No, I know I got it after Christmas, but that doesn't mean that we can do a completely Christmas thing. This is stupid. We're not. Everybody, uh, I don't know what was going on there. I know that there's problems with the production crew and everything else, so our apologies. Uh, before we get started, as always, www.theshavingcadre.com. Come and visit us. We'd certainly appreciate it, and I would appreciate it, and the channel would appreciate it, if you'd click on the barber pole with the cowboy hat. That'll get you subscribed. And then down here somewhere, you're going to see uh, a bell. Ring that for uh, notifications of future videos. And uh, also check out all the channels that I've listed down in the descriptor area. Um, these are great people, great channels, and I think you have a lot of fun. And today's shave is brought to you by Nurse Dave Shaving World and the custom Nurse Dave's Poker Chips and, oops, the Nurse Dave Shaving Device in Micro. So anyhow, that we kind of had some fun with uh, what just happened because when I was ordering some soaps, I realized that I do not have a Christmas soap. I mean, I do have the bath soap for uh, Sterling Christmas Eve, but I never ordered the soap. And um, I've got holiday style soaps, but never a specific Christmas soap. So I went ahead and ordered it when I ordered um, my other new Noble Otter. And when I saw this, I had to have it because to me, this is probably the finest artwork I've ever seen on a Christmas soap. And that's Tis the Season by Noble Otter. So we're doing kind of a, a post-Christmas shave. Uh, and this stuff's amazing. The evergreen, the fur, it smells like a Christmas tree. Plus you've got a little bit of cranberry, some cherry, I think. I don't have the notes in front of me, but it's just, oh, it smells like Christmas. We're going to be using the matching aftershave today. And the brush today is a Sorrentino Brushworks Luca Brasi with a two band uh, silver tip uh, badger. Just wonderful, wonderful soap. It will take on a lot of water, as I had mentioned on the uh, the other Noble Otter. Um, but this is just basically a Christmas tree punch in the face, along with all the other holiday uh, smells that you would get from a wreath or a Christmas tree or something like that. It's 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 nice. Uh, the razor today, we're going to be using a Class Tornblom four eighths. Now, if you notice, it's pretty much shoulderless, but it also matches the uh, brush. So, yes, indeed, Eric Sorrentino did do the scales on this razor as well. Uh, it's been taken across the balsa strop uh, 30 times. I do apologize. My plan was to have the winner announced uh, for the last 777SR. However, I did look at some of the entries and it doesn't look like anybody got it exact. So I'll be doing a random number generator. That was close. I dug the toe in. Nope, doesn't look like anything happened. Uh, I'll do a random number generator this evening and I'll have The winner announced uh, for tomorrow's shave. 
it's been a while since I've used any of these Swedish sports cars, as I call them. Small 4 8 blades, incredibly thin and sharp and hard. And um, the, uh, the shoulderless design. I've got a few. I've got a couple of Elja strands, and then I've got a couple of Eric Antong birds, and then I think two of the Tornblowns. Wonderful razor, but boy, do you need to be careful um, because one wrong move and uh, it's Slaceville. This uh, razor was originally honed uh, uh, on a codicule uh, using the Dillicott method and then finished up on a, I think this one was finished up on a black Arkansas uh, with the Arcucot method using uh, Smith's honing solution and then water. then taken across linen and leather a whole bunch and then um then i just you know as are most swedish razors you don't really need to rebevel and rehone them very often and just maintenance and i had been doing maintenance on a translucent arkansas and now i'm doing pretty much most of the maintenance on that pasted balsa strop the convex balsa strop and i'm really liking the results um the soap, as far as the strength of scent on Tis the Season by Noble Otter, is uh, definitely a 5 out of 5. It's uh, just neat. And what's neat is if you looked at the photo earlier, um, it's in somewhat of a foil-type wrapper on the soap. Not the aftershave, but on the soap. So if you take a picture of it, it looks like the Christmas lights are lit up, which is kind of cool. It's so one thing I got to say, and I think I've said this before, is that the artwork on Noble Otter stuff is just incredible. And I think it's neat that a lot of your artisans are spending the time and the money and the effort to come up with really neat um soap artwork because those of us that are into aviation uh it's very much akin to what they call nose art and what nose art was for those that you do not know is these were decal or not decals but paintings usually of very beautiful women in scantily clad pieces of apparel that adorned the nose of a bomber or a fighter or an aircraft during World War II. And that's continued on till today, not as much in the modern military, but uh, in the World War II aircraft, in the Korean War era, and even some of the Vietnam, but you had Ain't Misbehaving, you had uh, Old Crow, you had uh, the Memphis Belle. And uh, what's neat about these soaps is I think it's cool that they're doing basically soap art or no uh, nose art, and it's kind of neat to have those. Yeah, just a beautiful soap, wow. And most of the time, I probably would not use this soap again until Christmas of next year. But um, I can see using it throughout the summer because it's got a just a neat, neat, neat flavor.
Hope everybody's having a good Monday. I know a lot of people are back to work. This is my second Saturday is what I call it. Because I have the shop open four days a week. And uh, so this is my second Saturday. One thing I've also noticed about these small 4-H razors is, and I think I mentioned this to a couple of people on uh, the forum, is to keep the blade moving, but moving at a fairly rapid rate. Um, because the slower, especially on a very thin ground blade, if it does run into any resistance, you're going to start pushing things rather than slicing straight through. Um, so speed and quickness are your friend, uh, especially on these thin grinds. And I don't mean speed as in speed of shaving and getting it done. I mean speed of the stroke. Because if you stop, like what I just did, uh, you're going to slice. And I think that may, that one may bleed. We shall see in a minute. Felt like a little touch, right, at my chin. And I blame Matt for this because Matt was talking about how he sliced himself up yesterday. So Murphy probably made the transfer from Missouri to Arizona. Unfortunately, we hadn't seen Murphy in a while. Yep, yeah, I caught myself when I was coming across here. I stopped and uh, gave myself a little weepa. Yeah, maybe you'll eat in a little bit more than a weeper. We'll have to see when we put the alum on it. And frankly, some of it was complacency. You get used to. Shaving day after day and you get used to certain things and you just kind of overlook and one small effort is all it takes. Yeah, pretty good slice. We'll see. Um, that's why you know, it's a constant, you're never, you never stop learning uh, when it comes to straight razor shaving. I mean, you know, like I said, I've got 4,000 plus. So I've always been the proponent of keeping the blade moving. Before you touch down. Especially on those weirdly angled areas. And anybody who shaves with a straight razor knows that it's not, and this is throughout an entire straight razor career, um, it's not a matter of if you're going to cut yourself, it's a matter of when and how often. 
Definitely a DSBBS shave, but I can't call it that because of the little touchdown. Just my weird uh, ways of rating my shaves. So even though it's DSBBS because of that little stupidity, um, just a regular shave. Yeah, pretty good slice. And like I said, it doesn't take much. When you have a very, very sharp blade, it doesn't take much. And along this area, it's tough because once you slice on a on a vertical line instead of a horizontal, every time you move your jaw, it can pull open. But hopefully it's not deep enough for that. We shall see here in a minute. Um, but wonderful, uh, but back to the soap, a wonderful soap. And again, I apologize for not having the winner picked uh, for the 777SR dot round two, but we will have that uh, more than likely tomorrow's shave. And today we're going to be using Quinn's grapefruit and orange rind. Let that soak in for a few seconds while we clean everything up and go over everything again. So for the razor, again, we did a class tone blown of four eighths, uh, shoulderless with a barber notch, uh, scales by Eric Sorrentino. Um, the matching uh, Luca Brasi, which is very much like a like a, a Simpson chubby and a two band silver tip, wonderful brush. I'm not sure where Eric sourced this one from, but it's really neat. And it looks as if that's pretty much stopped. Wonderful stuff. I'm really liking the, the Noble Otter uh, soap. It is very, very, very nice. And for the aftershave today, that's all we're going to be doing is the aftershave and talc. Uh, again, Noble Otter, tis the season. Uh, again, and it does have some foil, but on the photographs, the, the foil on the um, soap container really pops. Wow, the evergreen and the aftershave, but you do get a little bit more of the other notes, the cranberry notes. Um, oh, very nice. Definitely Christmas. There is no doubt about that. Uh, for our talk today, we're going to be sticking with the men and shave towel because we'll probably use a little bit more aftershave as an EDT. So again, if you've not tried Noble Otter, uh, definitely one to put in your your wish list or your basket, whatever the case may be. Yeah, we'll use a little bit of the aftershave for EDT, I think. It's definitely strong enough. So, Okay, folks, that's it. Certainly appreciate you joining us at Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. Again, we should have the, the announcement for the winner uh, tomorrow sometime, uh, hopefully during the video. So, again, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, do all those other things we talked about earlier, and I hope you have a fantastic Monday, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Mm -hmm.